Hello, my friends. You didn't think we were just gonna leave it there, did ya? You thought we were gonna look at ham nations just once? Really? You really, you really thought that? No, 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 no. It is a very special day. We got word from the man himself. Bryson, AKA, he wants us to look at his most recent video because last video we talked about how 22 year old Bryson looks very young But apparently there have been some changes. I don't know how else to say it. Bryson has challenged us to watch the newest video My brother almost died 18 times 18 times. That's a lot of times to almost You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So let's go guys. I am so excited Excited. Are you ready for the greatest sequel of 2023? Robert Eddie K. Haminations. Three, two, one. Haminations! Hey, Brenner, if you jump off this cliff right now, I'll give you a penny. Oh, should have waited. Oh. Hi, I'm Bryson, and a while ago I made a video about the times I almost died and the times I got hurt really bad. <clears throat> but that got me thinking about the other injuries in my family, and one wow. sibling came to mind. One who had dodged the grasp of death more times than I can count. The sibling who had little to no regard for his own mortality and oh, would no. regularly hurt himself. Oh, no. The wild child, if you will. The youngest brother, Brenner. This is gonna be a long video, because Brenner gets injured a lot. I don't want to cut out good stories or do a part two, so let's just sit down, relax, grab some popcorn, and laugh at my brother's pain. All right, grab that popcorn. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Before we get started, why don't we boop that like button? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so first of all, Bryson, yes, you were right. Your voice has changed. Which is kind of concerning, honestly, because uh, whose voice changes when they're 22? Can you answer that for me? I don't know when my voice changed. I think I would have been like 14, maybe? But maybe, maybe Bryson, Bryson is is going to live for like 200 years because the delay in which this is happening is genuinely impressive. I genuinely want to understand what that is like mentally. Because for the average person, you know, by the time you turn 18, the surprises stop. You know? You're out of surprises. Your voice is done. You're done growing. I mean, the only thing that most guys get after 18 is you get more chest hair, basically. The chest hair never stops. But Bryson got a whole voice glow up. Good on ya, mate. I'm excited. Now, almost all of Brenner's injuries were self-inflicted. However, I think it's only right we start the video with Brenner's very first injury, the okay. one he got from me. Brenner okay. had recently been born, and my parents invited me into their room to say hi Aww. to my new baby brother. As I said hello to him, he reached out his hand and scratched my <laughs> chest. Now, obviously, Brenner was just a baby. He had no control of his body and was of just course. moving around. But that's not what you thought at the time. <laughs> so far, Bryson has yet to pull out the Draco or a baseball bat or any other uh, weapon. So you can tell it's a little bit more serious so far. But uh, hey, it's early on. I'm sure he's going to go completely insane uh, in a very short period of time. But my four-year-old brain could not let oh, this slide. No. How dare you? Oh, no. First, you come into my house, take my spot as the uh, cute youngest child, and take all the attention from my parents, and now this? Don't do I it, Bryson. I offered you my hand in friendship, and you attacked me. You must pay recompense for your actions. Hey, oh, no. No. Stop. Just calm down. Don't do it. Don't my do it. My parents tried to stop me, but it was too late. I reached out and scratched him back. He began to cry, and my parents put me in timeout. Little did Brenner know, his pain had just begun. <laughs> Wait, dude, that's terrible. If I, if I were a parent and literally my one son injured my newborn like the first day of its birth, it's like, there are a few more terrifying things. Like the amount of stress that goes into having a baby, first of all, and like when your baby is born and it's healthy, it's like, oh, all the stress is gone. And un unless you have Bryson as an older brother and then the claws come out, that's when it gets crazy. Okay, in all seriousness, I felt really bad for what I did. Even now, I still regularly apologize Aww. to Brenner about it. But he can't even remember it, so he doesn't care. Brenner, my conscience has really been getting to me lately, and I'm so Give sorry. Give him all the money from this video, then, Dude, Bryson. that was 17 years ago. Can you just move on? I forgive you, okay? Thank you. I love you, Brenner. I'm so glad I could get that off my chest. Oh no, he's gonna push him down the stairs, trip him. Oh! Remember in my pain video where my brother Brody slammed the door on my fingers? 
Yeah. Apparently that experience runs in the family. Brody walked through a door oh, no. as a young Brenner was sticking his fingers oh, in the hinges no. and Brody slammed the door oh. again. <laughs> Brenner's fingers bent every which way. If I had a nickel for every time I slammed a sibling's fingers in the door, I'd have two nickels. That Which isn't a lot, lot but, but it's, it's weird, weird that, that it happened twice. twice. Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, Brenner's fingers didn't break and the doctors fixed him up. Feel better soon, buddy, and don't get into any more trouble. I will make no such promises. Yeah, at that point, you gotta start like installing pillows on your door hinges. At that point, you should fill your house with doors made of cotton candy. Because listen, fool me once, shame on my hand. Fool me twice, shame on the other hand. Fool me three times, you, you ain't got no more hands. <laughs> Was that the dumbest attempt at wordplay that I have ever done? Probably. One time, me and Brennan were playing tag, and rather than be tagged by me, he jumped into a busy street and a car barely avoided him. I guess Brenner was more willing to die than lose at tag. Would you rather die serious. a terrible death or- Definitely death. Wait, you didn't hear the other option? Death. <laughs> I genuinely don't know why he is so accident prone, but this next story was no accident. You know how sometimes your mom has a really good friend, so she decides to make you hang out with her friend's children, but Oof. you don't like them? Oof. Yeah. When I was younger, my mom sent me and Brenner to play with the neighbor kids, Jake and Steven. The oh. main reason I didn't like Jake was because he said, Your sister is so hot. Oh no. Brittany was 18. Jake and I were eight. Have you considered shutting up? Anyways, I spent the day tolerating Jake's shenanigans, but eventually I hid from him on the front porch and watched Brenner and Steven play in the front yard. Come here, Brenner, I wanna show you something. Brenner walked up to him, Steven grabbed his hand, reached into his pocket, and pulled out a pair of scissors and started cutting Brenner's fingers. What? Stop! I ran over what? to him to check on Brenner. His fingers were bleeding and he was crying. Dude, that is some juvenile hall type stuff. That is some horror movie stuff. That's like literally in a horror movie, that's what the evil kid does. That's insane. What is it with your family's hands that people just aren't feeling? <laughs> Something about those hands. The universe just ain't digging those hands. Universe, please give our homie a break. He needs those hands to animate and draw and inspire the masses. You know what I'm saying? I slapped the scissors out of Steve Steven's hand, grabbed him by the arm, and forced him inside to his mom. Hey, Steven just cut Brenner's fingers with scissors. Hmm? <sighs> oh, Steven. What? That's it? I was shocked. Oh my. Call my mom right now so she can pick us up. We're leaving. We left, and Brenner's fingers Dude. healed just fine. But still, that reaction from the mom was not okay. Luckily, I never had to go to that family's house again. Oh my gosh. I heard the sternness in Bryson's voice. That was some repressed rage. Homie is not happy about what happened that day. That is seriously horror movie villain stuff. Reminds me of another time Brody was really young and another boy was punching him. Oh my gosh. My mom took the kid to his mom and told her that his son was hitting Brody. And all she did was say, <laughs> soft hands, Hunter. I mean, soft hands. soft hands? How about punishing your kid for hitting a stranger? You clearly don't know how to discipline children. Here, I'll show you how it's done. Get him. A lot of Brenner's injuries were caused by him wanting to grow up fast and to keep up with his older brothers. For example. My turn. All right, use the rocket boots. Bryson doesn't need training wheels on his bike, oh, so no. neither do I. <laughs> Let me try. Well, ah! I mean, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, okay, he was just trying to jump on the trampoline. I don't think that's a matter of him trying to grow up fast. Oh, he was just trying to grow up fast, so he jumped on the trampoline like a normal child. At that point, you gotta just start wearing a helmet. Just start, start wearing a helmet throughout life. Hi, I'm Brenner. Brenner, why are you wearing a helmet? This is a Wendy's. You don't know the things that have happened to me. In solidarity for, for Brenner, we're gonna wear a helmet for a little bit. But one time, Brenner tried to set a trend that the other brothers would follow. Ooh. And the consequences were severe. This next story is the real reason I made this video. 
I'm oh, honestly no. still surprised that Brenner survived this. Oh, it no. Was bad. In our basement, we had a tall exercise machine that looked like this. Brenner decided that he wanted to climb it and jump off it no. onto our beanbag for no. fun. However, this time it went horribly wrong. Brenner pushed the beanbag close to the machine, climbed up, and jumped headfirst with the same regard for his life that a Minecraft player has when seeing one block of water. <laughs> part of the beanbag covered the exercise bench, which extended out, oh, hiding no. the big metal part underneath. Oh, Brenner thought that since God. there was part of the beanbag there, it would be soft. Head but first. But he slammed through the beanbag into the metal part, and he split his forehead wide open. Bro, exercise equipment and small children do not mix. I literally did something similar when I was a child. We had like an old, old, old exercise bike. When I'm talking an old exercise bike, I'm talking looks like a 80s infomercial exercise bike. There was no protection. You know how when you go on an exercise bike now, all of the gears and stuff are inside? Well, it wasn't always like that. No, no, this is one where the gears were outside. So I, as a literal five-year-old, Old, hanging out with another five-year-old in our unfinished basement with plenty of hard surfaces for us. Great thing for kids. I was like, yo, go ride on the bike. Ride on the bike, Tess. And so Tess was riding on the bike, just pedaling. And I was like, you know, it would be stupid, but I'm going to do it anyway. If I put my finger into these gears. Yeah, we don't need Bryson to animate it for you to know how that went. Okay, okay, fine. It didn't go well. Fine, I'll admit it. <laughs> Mom and Brittany came running into Brenner crying oh, with no. blood all over oh, him. No. They freaked out and dashed him out of the house to take him to the hospital. Yep. I only caught a glimpse of him as they ran out, Scary. but I could tell it was bad. Brittany and mom later told me that they could see Brenner's skull through the gash in his head. My dad sent me to a friend's house so they could watch me while my parents took care of Brenner. Good I call. remember sitting on their stairs, terrified that I'd never see Brenner again. God, please hear my prayer. If you make Brenner be okay, I promise I'll never be mean to him again. It worked! Dude, this is real. Bryson, you getting real with this one. I'm glad Brenner's okay. Shout out to Brenner. But next time, wear a helmet. With the sunglasses and the helmet, I can barely see a thing. At the hospital, since Brenner was so accident prone, they kept pointing to cuts on his head that were from previous shenanigans. <laughs> is this cut old or new? Is this cut old or we new? We don't know. Is this old or new? We don't know. Finally, my sister was like, This, the gaping gash on his forehead, that is new. Forget the rest of it, fix that. Somehow the doctors patched him up. I think they even had a plastic surgeon involved in fixing Heck his yeah. head. When I next saw Brenner, he was up on his feet with 25 stitches in his head. 25! Okay. Phew! I thought you were gonna die, Brenner. I'm so glad you're okay. <sighs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Listen, man, you can't have a brother Bruh. moment without following it up with a bro moment. You can't. There's only so much you can ask for in this world. Wow, after wearing, when I put this on for five minutes and I take it off, my whole world is red. It literally looks like the sun is setting in my room now. Isn't it crazy how eyes adjust? And homies, while well, I gotcha, if you are watching this video and you are not subscribed to the channel, maybe this is the first Robert IDK video you're seeing. Well, first of all, lucky you. <laughs> lucky you. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not gonna say that. Thank you for watching. It's very nice to see you and I would appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button so you could be here next time as well. That would be so sick. And if you're watching this far and you didn't boop the like button earlier, oh, here's your moment, okay? Okay, back to the video. Brenner still has a massive scar across his Ooh. forehead, but thanks to the doctors, he was okay. Brenner, can you please calm down on the injuries? You're gonna die if you're not careful. <laughs> it's not hard to die. I could do it like right now. But like number two, <laughs> another time a young Brenner was using the bathroom and Donald Glover got a little bit of childish Gambino in there. Another time a young Brenner was using the bathroom and found a bottle of painkillers on the countertop. Oh, they were no. coated in a sugary glaze oh, to make them go no. down easier. So Brenner took the pills one by one and sucked on them till they ran out of sugar, then spat them out. He oh, did thank this over goodness. and over and over, and from sucking on the pills he got sick and passed out. I'm a tired. Ooh. Yeah, that's about how that would go. Actually, no, because that almost sounds fun. Don't. That's not how it would go. It would go worse. If he literally just sucked, like, sucked on each one for, like, one minute too long, that's it for Brenner. Roll credits. It's not like us. It's not like you and me. That 
that is like very scary. That's very scary. Like the hit to the head, that's very scary. That, very scary. I'm tired. My mom discovered Brenner unconscious on the bathroom floor oh. surrounded by- Oh my God. <laughs> And once again, the doctors proved why it's good to go to college. <laughs> not for me, though. But as for you guys, good for you. I don't know how they saved him, honestly. I don't really know how doctors work. For all That's I know, terrifying. they could have removed all of Brenner's blood, which was tainted with drugs, thrown it away, then pumped him up with fresh blood. I don't know. That's Another terrifying. Another time, he swallowed a bunch of coins, and again, my parents rushed him to the hospital where he was x-rayed to show a pile of coins in his stomach. They told my poor parents oh, to dig no. through his, ahem, oh, no. waist until they got all the coins. He was like a piggy bank, but way more disgusting. Why did they- <laughs> Okay. Quite the frame to pause on. Why did they need to find all the coins? Just to know that he was fine or something? Was that it? Did you have to count it? How many coins was it? Bryson, how much money are we talking here? What kind of money are we talking? He was like a piggy bank, but way more disgusting. <coughs> he was like a piggy bank, but way more disgusting. Honestly, with how often Brenner visited the hospital, I'm surprised they didn't have a special section of the hospital just for him. <laughs> this next story is surprisingly the only time that Brenner has ever broken a bone. You would wow. think at this point that he would I'm have no bones tired. left because of how often he gets hurt, but nope, he still has bones. My family has a small motorcycle that we call <sighs> Big Bertha. It's fun to ride around on, but it has no suspension. It is two wheels and a motor, that's it. One day, Brenner was driving it, and despite knowing that Big Bertha had no suspension, he decided to ride it off a curb. The bike bounced, Brenner swerved and lost control, and he went head over handlebars. He landed on his arm and totally snapped his wrist. Okay, if we're talking about a bike with no suspension, I have other body parts getting hurt in mine, to be completely honest. What do you mean by that? It is a shame about the wrist, but there are other things he could have broken. One hospital trip later and Brenner had a cast. He wanted his cast to be unique, so he asked me to paint it to look like Thanos' gauntlet. Whoa. So I got the paint out and painted it as best I could to look like the gauntlet. Aww, that's it looked fun. pretty cool in my opinion. But then later, Brenner's arm got itchy. The doctors told him that his arm would be itchy at first, but that if he ignored it, the itchiness would go away. They also specifically told him to leave the cast alone and to not shove anything into the cast. Shove anything in- He, however, he found a, he found a couple infinity stones on his walk. <laughs> what, what can I say? The lad found a couple infinity stones. Were well, you're telling me I can't put it into my gauntlet? Why would you want to mess with your perfect cast, you know? That is the thing with itchiness, though. I will say, I am on Team Brenner's Doctor when it comes to itchiness. Yo, when by the time I turned like 9 or 10 years old, I kind of realized that mosquito bites, if you just don't ever itch them, they stop itching. And it was like the biggest like biohack that I have ever experienced in my life. Because as a kid, it's like, ah, ah! maybe you put some like extra is like, oh, if I dig into it with my nail and do it at Fam, no. Leave that dip. Leave that dip. If you leave the mosquito bite, not even once. Don't itch it once. And you will be okay. As soon as you start itching, have fun. Have fun. Because it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning, fam. So, Brenner, I'm sure you messed this up somehow. Let's go. However, the itch got the better of Brenner. So, no. without consulting anyone, no. he grabbed Brody's glasses and started what? shoving the long end into his cast in an attempt to scratch his itch. Oh no. He pulled the glasses out only to realize that the little rubber covering had slipped off and it was now stuck in the cast. Determined to scratch his itch and recover the rubber cover, Brenner somehow no, removed no. all of the soft wrappings underneath no. the cast, leaving only the oh hard outer shell. God, just Brenner like had gauntlet. scratched his itch and was satisfied. Then mom walked in and saw what Brenner had done. <laughs> Is this your actual parent? Is, wait, was that your actual family or is that a meme that I haven't seen before? Bryson, if you if you watching this, if you watching this right now, my dude, my dude, I'm allowed to call you my dude because uh, the video. Was that a meme or was that, did, did you get your mom to scream for this video? There's no context where me getting my mother to scream would ever be a good thing. There's no context. They went back to the hospital and explained the situation. Can you imagine being a doctor and setting someone up with a nice cast oh, to help no. them heal, and the next thing you know, they ruined it? I feel like the maid. I just cleaned up this mess. Can we keep it clean for, for 10 minutes? <laughs> they had to cut off his Thanos no, cast and make no another more infinity. one for him. 
Brenner got home and asked me to paint his new cast. No, I spent a lot of time painting that last one and you ruined it. How do I know you won't ruin it again? Come on, man, just paint it again. Why, why should I be penalized because of your sloppiness? <laughs> Walter White, let's go. Yes, breaking bad memes are always a go on the Robert IDK channel. Always welcome. You get nothing. You understand me? Nothing. Jesse! <laughs> So Bryson, you had to get your little brother to acknowledge these mistakes in order to voice act in your video. Brenner has to acknowledge the absolute stupidity of his actions in order to play himself acting stupid in your video. What a good brother, honestly. What a good brother. Why, why should I be penalized because of your sloppiness? <laughs> so Brenner went around wearing a lame blue cast rather than Ugh. a cool Thanos cast. A few months later, the doctors took off the cast and they realized Realized that Brenner's arm had healed crooked. Oh it was my literally gosh. like a 15 degree angle. My mom pointed this out and the doctor said, Yeah, well, it's within the range of crookedness that we consider to be acceptable, so oh, we're just gonna leave so it. So like see ya! <laughs> what? That's easy for you to say. You're not the one who has to live with a crooked arm. Fix his arm and do it right this time. So the doctors explained that in order to fix it, they would have to re-break Brenner's arm, oh, angle it correctly, and recast it. You do can it. do it, homies. Wait, what? Hold them down. Wait, no! <laughs> so they Jesus. did that, and Brenner's arm eventually healed correctly, but not without pain. Now, you would think that after breaking his arm on Big Bertha, that Brenner would never touch that thing again, right? Wrong. Nope. Let me tell you one last story. One day, me and Brenner got bored and decided to go for a ride. Him on Big Bertha and me on my go-kart. We chased each other around a parking lot, but then I thought, how can I make racing around more interesting? And my mind more went to dangerous. my favorite racing game, Mario Kart. You know, the game where you destroy your enemies by throwing items at them? Of course. So I decided to drive by Brenner and throw my flip-flops at him. Oh, we that's went good. back and forth throwing flip-flops at each other that's like good. green shells for some time. Then I zoomed by and got a good flip-flop strike on Brenner, and he wanted to retaliate with something stronger. He grabbed a big tree branch and drove towards me. He swung the branch and I swerved out of the way. But the branch was so heavy that swinging oh it boy, threw here Brenner we go. off balance. Here we go. He swerved and flew over the handlebars once more. Again? Freaking again? Brenner was scraped and bruised, but luckily nothing broke. And he finally learned his lesson and he doesn't drive Big Bertha anymore. But I do. Sweet. Little motorbikes are so safe for for the young ones, you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, so so here here's the lesson. Here's the lesson. Children, children, like like runner here. Things to not have around the kids. Uh workout <laughs> equipment made com entirely of metal. And then motorcycles. Probably one of the less ideal things to have around a, a young, fragile lad. So any parents watching, uh, if there's a lesson we can extract from this, workout equipment, motorcycles. You gotta toss them. Gotta toss them. Or toss the kid. One thing's gotta go. What do you like more? Your workouts or your kid? You know what I'm saying? If you don't toss the kid or toss the workout, the kid's gonna jump off the workout and the kid will toss itself inadvertently, you know? Is is this possibly my smartest commentary yet? <laughs> Let's quickly get through some last stories. Lightning round. We visited a janky aquarium that let you swim with sharks and a bamboo shark bit Brenner's finger. How, how, what? That should be a whole story. Swimming with sharks. Bruh, oh, that's not really, a, is that a shark? We call this a shark? All right, all right, all right, okay. Brenner went to a trampoline park, attempted a stupid trick and landed on his head and had to wear a neck brace for a few weeks. Brenner and Brody went kayaking. Brody tried to splash Brenner with the paddle, but it skipped off the water, slammed into Brenner's oh, face and cracked man. his front teeth. A car oh, almost backed no. over him as a child, but he hung onto the bumper while being dragged and my sister stop the car to save him. The fact, okay, the fact that these are just throwaway stories says a lot. Brenner, I'm so sorry, my dude. I know it feels weird. Gotta start wearing the helmet. You gotta start wearing the helmet. It's the only way. How are these just throwaway stories? Getting dragged under the car? Getting bit by a shark? You've had some pretty bad experiences if those are the throwaway stories. His friend accidentally shot him in the forehead with a BB gun and his forehead still has a dent. 
In conclusion, Brenner's guardian angel is built different because she has saved Brenner more times than I yeah, can count. Yeah, legend. And I, I gotta say really quick, he was talking about a uh, BB Draco. I went on a walk earlier today around like my neighborhood. And as I was coming back to my house, I live currently in like an apartment house, like a house with like eight different apartments in it. As I was walking up the street to get to mine, out of the corner of my eye, I noticed that there were some people chilling on the lawn. I looked over, it's a dad in a lawn chair and his like seven year old child with a fake Draco, like a rifle Draco pointed directly at me, following me as I go. And I stared this kid down. I kept eye contact with him and he still did it. What kind of psychos am I living with? Like, I couldn't believe it. I almost went up to the dad and I was like, hey, dude, is this what you raise your kids to do? Hey, does your kid do that to everyone? Because he's gonna do that to someone who's gonna be more offended than me. He's gonna do that to the wrong person and then you, dad, are going to get beat up. What's he doing? Did I really look like someone who it, it's just safe to do that to? Trust me, I wasn't wearing the helmet or the watermelon shirt, okay? I can look spooky if I want to. Anyways, so Sorry, just a little bit of a repressed rage. And as much as I make fun of him, I am grateful for that. As he has grown, I think he has gotten a little less accident prone. Let's hope it keeps going in that direction, because I'm pretty sure he has used up all you of his You don't want to have to make an update video. God has sent his soul back to the living world so many times at this point that if Brenner shows up there again, God might just say, Oh, forget it, and keep him. <laughs> well, hey, it could be worse. At least his soul is going to heaven. What a morbid joke to make about yourself. All right, so the more recent Haminations video, we can confirm. Haminations, still a savage. Confirmed. Bryson is the first man to have the voice drop at 22. That is very cool, bro. This is probably what's going on. Brenner is sacrificing years to give you immortal life. That's why you're aging so slowly, Bryson. Dude, when you're 40 and you look 20, it's going to be so so sick, dude. You're gonna be so happy. You're gonna run a marathon at age 100, bro. But anyways, friends, I hope you enjoyed this video. Here's Hamination's channel. Please check out the channel. He did all the hard work on this video. I was just a silly boy making the silly jokes. Or if for whatever reason you haven't seen it, here's the first time we looked at the Hamination's channel. You need to see this video if you haven't seen it. Or here's a video that YouTube specifically thinks you will like. Are they right? You watch it. Let me know. I will see you here. I will see you there. I love y'all. Have a great day and wear a helmet. Peace.